Hello everyone. Today we will be checking Rift Breaker. I got the version in Polish, but I don't know how to change it to English, so let's use the Polish version. This game is basically something like Factorio, but with a single mech, this research system, and a very different graphics. It's kind of advanced one at that too. So this will be a little bit of a gameplay here and there. It looks technically like Command and Conquer. Tiberium Wars 3, but... As you can see, it's only this, this mech that you can control. Nothing else. However, you have plenty of modifications for this mech. And I'm <laughs> spewing this destruction everywhere. It's kind of fun. And a nuclear warhead. That's literally this thing. Ooh, double blast, nice. Oh, artillery. A rocket spam. Double blast. Nice. I presume you already know what Factorio is and how it is played. But any game that... Oh, hostile nest, okay. Any game that lets you launch nukes is fun. Resisted. Then let's spew destruction everywhere. <laughs> I'm playing an arsonist right now. And the ability is below, on the left down corner. Oh, okay. Uh, as I was saying, the abilities on the bottom left corner are literally a single use abilities that you research. And they have a variety of uses like mines, turrets, healing, scanning. Let me show you the scanning. It reveals part of the map. Oh, Palladium. Or... So I need to make this. I'm playing a special mode where... I... how to say it? Where ores are infinite. Because it's fun this way. I don't need to worry about any ore or resource running out. Especially because it's the survival mode. And survival mode gives you waves every set amount of time. I set it to 10 minutes each time, with the initial startup time of 1 hour each. And I hope to have a really relaxing yet fun Slaying experience. Why my base is low on power? I don't know. Let me first build some defensive turrets at the north in this line because there is a lot of enemies. Really, a lot of enemies. I 
and samarthi dare. I need some more power plants, I presume. Oh, I had reduced wind turbines. That's why I had low power everywhere, nearly everywhere. I resisted, I need some different turrets. And upgrade this one. This is a pair of turret, um, railgun, flamethrower, okay. Flamethrower is to the sides. And seismic turrets. Entire single row. GG. Well played. Now let's upgrade everything because this game wastes a lot of your resources but is really fun just in the destruction sense. And I put these artillery turrets, four of these here because if these turrets hit any enemy in range the enemies will come to this wall of turrets here and get utterly destroyed. And this is how I wasted 30k resources, 25k to be exact. Now, 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 let's make some more resource places. I need more carbonium, which is coal. Coal ore. Now, call factor, let's go. Because this is infinite, I don't need to make it a coal synthesizer or carbon or iron synthesizer, which wastes like 500 energy each time, which is truly not fun to power up. How much not fun it is, I'm gonna show you in a bit on the campaign. Because this is very enjoyable to play around. Like you walk around, you build bases, you do random shit. And it's pretty enjoyable. I forgot to build that teleport pod. And for now, this is the main base of mine. However, I forgot to build the healing turrets that restore HP to my buildings. And that's the error I'm fixing right now. Yep, otherwise I wouldn't feel like myself without fixing this. And I need to upgrade them at least once, so they fix it a little bit quicker. Because these drones from these turrets are pretty good fixers, not gonna lie. And the call factor upgrade. Wind turbine upgrade again.
I think call is synthesized on generating pretty fast, but... Oh! The enemy wave is coming. That's how it looks like from this perspective. Look at the slaughter fest. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. It happens every 10 minutes. And so far no enemy have reached me. Attack ends in 5 seconds. I mean spawning the enemies. From all three sources. GG. Last wave here, so I will go and tell them a little. Which base? Oh, the bottom one. Tower destroyed. Oh, this guy is resisting. If normal weapons don't work, then everything else will, like nuclear warhead. And to launch uh, both weapons, I just need to do a simple thing. Click two mouse buttons at the same time. Wave got repelled. GG. I need to fix it a little bit. Not gonna lie to you. Not enough plant biomass. I guess I need to build more biomass factories. But for now, fixing to red number one. And fixing to red number two. And what else? Laser to red. I remember how useful these are. Not an upland biomass. I will do this of the episode later on. But for now I want to show you other things. You know, more uranium. So, oh, the game is saving itself automatically. That's pretty cool, as always. So, did the game save? Let me save it once again. Number two for the survival. Saving game. Come on, save your game. What I want to show you is how much the game lags when you build too much wind turbines and why I ultimately went to with plant biomass power plants, so... This is gonna be interesting, at least a little bit, then I will end up and the episode
load the game. Quick save was the Oh, 15 was the mo most recent save. It's basically a campaign and how much I broke the campaign. Oh boy, this game is pretty fun, as a time away.